Hello, welcome to Preschool Storytime with the Long Beach Public Library. My name is Ms. Shana and I'll be your storyteller today. We're going to sing a song by Raffi called I'm in the Mood for Singing. And if you're in the mood for singing or dancing or jumping, get out of your seat and join me. I'm in the mood for singing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for singing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for singing, singing along with you. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that today. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. And I'm in the mood for clapping. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for clapping. Hey, how about you? Clapping along with you. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that today. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. And I'm in the mood for stomping. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for stomping. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for stomping. Stomping. inside the bowl. A seed. A little teeny tiny seed. Hmm. Interesting. And what else? A tree. Huh. A seed and a tree. Oh, let's see what else is in here. Do you know what that is? That's one of my favorite things to eat ever. It's an apple. I get it. A seed grows into a tree that grows apples. Apples, apples, apples! That must be what our story time is about today. Thank you, story time fairy. I'm so excited to read about apples. Today's story is called Hungry Bunny. It's written by Claudia Rueda, and we're reading this today with permission from Chronicle Books in San Francisco. Thanks, guys. Did you hear something? Here I come. Can you hear?
hear my tummy rumble? Oh, I'm one hungry bunny. It's time for a red, delicious, and hard to reach apple. Maybe you could help. Could you please shake the book so that the apples fall down? Since you can't shake the book, I'll shake the book. And you pretend that you're shaking the biggest apple tree you've ever seen, okay? I'm gonna shake, 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 shake. <gasps> Not the leaves! Could you blow them away? Let's do it, you ready? Take a big, big, deep breath. <sighs> ready, go. Much better. Thank you. Uh oh. What else went into the tree though? Oh no! My scarf has blown away too. It's stuck in the book. And I'm still hungry. How do you suppose we could get his scarf back? Hmm. Those are some great ideas. Could you help me grab my scarf? Should I help him? I, I could help him, I guess. Do you want to help? Let's grab it. Let's grab the scarf, okay? Oh, look. Here it is, right here. Oh, oh look. Look at that. Whoa! Wow! That's a really long scarf. All right, we got it. Will you place the scarf here for me and hold it tight? Okay. Oh, I can use it to climb the tree and pick those tasty apples. Okay, just one more. Boop, boop. Great teamwork. I got them all. Can you hang on to that scarf for me? Okay, I won't lose it, Rabbit. I got it right here, okay? Whoops, I'm running late. What an uphill battle. Wait a minute. Why am I going uphill? Hmm. We can fix that. Can you tilt the book for me? Sure. Whee! Easy as pie. Now my wheels are turning. Why don't we have even more fun? Would you rock the book back and forth? Okay, I'm rocking it. So we keep going and get ready to turn. Oh my goodness. Uh oh, get ready to tumble. Boom. Oops, I guess I upset the apple cart. Look, it's cracked in the middle. And where are all the apples? Did you see where they went? Maybe on the next page. Ah, here they are. I'll just pick these up. Pick up the apples. And on the road again. <gasps> but what's this? That's a really big hole. How are we gonna get him over that hole? He is a rabbit. You think he can jump across? Can you jump like a bunny really high in the air? Yeah. But he's having to carry all those heavy apples. I don't think it's easy to jump while carrying a bushel of apples, right? Hmm. Hey, I think I'm gonna need some more help. Can you use my scarf to make a bridge? That's a wonderful idea, Rabbit. Here we go. I'm gonna hold it here. I'm gonna hold it with this hand like this. And then I'm gonna go like that so you can walk across. <gasps> and look, he can juggle while he's crossing it. Perfect. Thank you. I'm at the end of my rope. Good thing I'm almost home. Where does a bunny live? Ah! I'm stuck! Would you 
Give me a little push, please. Go ahead and push on the bunny's bottom. Just a gentle little push. Boop. Right on time for mom's apple pie. Look, she's stirring it up. Not a bad apple in the bunch. Yum. And we saved a piece for you. The end. That was Hungry Bunny by Claudia Rueda. This rhyme is called Five Little Apples. Will you call out the color of the apples for me? Red. Green. Red. Yellow. And dark red. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five little apples. Can you show me five on your hand? Great job. Five little apples hung in a tree. The farmer wasn't looking, so guess who came to eat? The caterpillar. Crunch, crunch, crunch. How many apples are left? One, two, three, four. Can you show me four on your hand? Here we go. Four little apples hung in a tree. The farmer wasn't looking. So guess who came to eat? Me! Me! Mr. Horse came by. Crunch! 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 Oh dear! How many apples are left? One, two, Three. Show me three. Three little apples hung in a tree. The farmer wasn't looking, so guess who came to eat? <laughs> Do you hear that? <laughs> the dog! Crunch! Crunch! Slobber, slobber. Crunch! Goodness, that doggy was hungry. How many apples are left now? One, two, show me two. Two little apples hung in a tree. The farmer wasn't looking, so guess who came to eat? Meh, meh, goat, meh. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh dear, goats will eat anything. How many apples are left now? One, that's right, show me one. One little apple hung in a tree. The farmer wasn't looking, so guess who came to eat? <laughs> Piggy was very hungry. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Well, now the tree is bare. There are no more apples there. But when next fall comes around, guess who will be there? Caterpillar. Horse. Dog, goat, and pig. <laughs> the end.
end. Thank you for joining me. I had so much fun. Before I let you go, I want to sing one more song that's a favorite of mine. It's called, May There Always Be Sunshine. I hope you take care of yourself and your loved ones and our great big beautiful world. And I hope you get lots and lots of hugs. May there always be sunshine. May there always be blue skies. May there always be family. May there always be me. May there always be stories. May there always be Thanks again. I'll see you next time.